Okay, a little bit better. I woke up, tried to film this video. My face was so puffy, and so I took a walk, and it's a bit better. Just got spray tanned yesterday, no makeup. Need to get the hair done, and just lipstick. Eh, me. This is going to be my LA haul. I hope you enjoyed the vlogs. If you don't know me, I'm Erica, and we are Hitchcock Madrona. Let's get into it. I hope this is exciting. I don't know how exciting these are. I feel like when we go to, we being Dustin, my cousin and a business partner, we go to places like LA for four days, we automatically hate everything we've packed and we need things to wear right then and there every time, no matter how, I need to start packing like nothing because all we do is shop for things to wear. Okay, where am I going to start? I'm going to start at Zara. I got these flowy floral pants and the neat thing about these is they're a little bit flared at the bottom which is different from my normal sort of pajama pant style but I really liked this this pattern I thought it was rich and expensive looking kind of Gucci-esque so I got these in a size large I like these really big and then, I don't know if I'm going to keep this. I got this at Zara, and it is a shirt dress. It reminded me of something Comme de Garçon. I love the poofy sleeves and the small neck, and it's really long. I'm thinking about wearing this like as an exaggerated shirt over jean shorts. I might cut it. I'm not sure. Speaking of Comme de Garçon, this is probably my favorite thing that I got. I got this at the Mohawk General Store in Silver Lake. And this is my color, cobalt blue. It's not um, normal sweatshirt material, it's like polyester. And it's a hoodie, it's men's, it's extra large. I'm gonna wear this like crazy. I also got, and I wore it a bunch, and so it needs to go into laundry, um, their private label smock, made in Japan, a men's Oxford shirt. I, it was like kind of the perfect shirt. I like how it comes up here at the hip. I think if you're going to wear a men's shirt, sometimes when they're super long and straight, they sort of hit you at this weird, it's like your body's widest part, but the shirt's most narrow part so sometimes it doesn't work um, but this one worked really well it's super wrinkly I love this color on me it's nice and brightening so that was Mohawk General Store men then let's go to the gap and a couple things are in the laundry so these were three for 10, normally 20 bucks, and I get them an extra large. It's kind of a gray tie-dye type. I also bought the white one and the gray and white stripe one. It's in the laundry, sorry guys. But this is a nice shirt. Again, I like the shape of the bottom, kind of comes up, it's a little bit lower in the front and in the back, it's a nice V-neck. They're pretty good quality, but I didn't have enough t-shirts when I was there, so so three t-shirts. And then shorts are so hard for me to find. I hate all shorts across the board, um, but these are, actually really liked these. It has a five inch inseam. Five inch inseam is like my perfect short short. And these are size 31. I got them kind of big because they sit sort of low on my hips and they have a lot of stretch in them. Um, they're 49, but then I think 30% off. So I think they were like 30 bucks, but I just picked them up. I didn't wear, I didn't end up wearing them, but it, any short that I like, I buy because I never like any of them. 
And then back to the gap, I've had a pair of pants like these. They're like the silky jogger camo army pant from J. Crew. I've had them for like eight years. And they're just like, over time, they've just gotten smaller for some reason. Maybe I like my, maybe I'm getting bigger or I like my clothes looser, but I just feel like they've sort of shrunk to oblivion. So I got these, I got large, because again, I want them really baggy and I can't wait to wear these with a white tee and heels and lots of jewelry for summer. Summer, so it was 81 there when we went and I know it's hot all over the country right now. It's just not hot where we live um, and it's hardly ever hot where we live. So I sort of eek by in the summer with like Target t-shirts and random shorts that I will wear like three times and then I can't look at them ever again because I don't like them but they were just the best of the best that I found. And then I really buy clothes for fall winter because again 300 days of the year is gray and rainy so I wear those clothes more. Um, so yeah, when I find a pair of shorts or something summery that I am comfortable in, that I like, I buy it. So let's go to J. Crew. These are really cute. They're like, a, again, a men's pajama pant. I love the pattern. I think, is this called a foulard print? Um, I got these in a 10, which is usually a little bit big on me. I'm usually like an 8, 10. Um, but these are kind of small for the way that I want to wear them. So I didn't wear them on my trip, but I think when I wear them in colder weather, I can wear like a blazer over them, like a more tailored look, not such a flowy look. But they were 40% off the sale price, so I think these were like 30 bucks, and so they're final sale. So, but I love them. I love looking at them. Okay, now we are going to the let's well we're, let's go to the beginning. I bought at the Mac store in the airport the Mac Lightful C vibrancy eye cream and I really like this I'm sort of low on eye creams right now and I use them a lot I'm sort of using this in place of my Tarte Maracuja C brightening whatever eye cream um, but yeah I really like this it seems small for what you get for the price but and then my favorite new lipstick. I'm wearing it now and I've been wearing it. I wore it all trip. It's Intoxica Matte A360 and it's this matte. It's pretty comfortable on the lips. It wears really well. I've used kind of a lot of it but when your hair is white and your skin is white and I need something bright on my lips and I I got so many compliments on this. This is my new favorite lipstick. I love it. Check this out. It's really good. And then we were walking around um, Silver Lake. I forget the street, but there was an Aesop there. And I have been realizing I have a bunch of masks, but they're all like purifying masks clay or gel based and really what I need a lot of the time is hydration so I asked what's your best hydrating mask and they recommended blue chamomile face hydrating mask from Aesop I this is my first Aesop project project product um, it, it wasn't didn't really I've used it once it didn't really feel like a mask it more felt like a moisturizer so I just put it on and it sucked right in and I just went to sleep. It wasn't like something that was very climactic. Um, I need to use it some more to give you the full uh, thing. So we went to, of course, a TJ Maxx to pick up just our little things that we didn't have. And I got this Keratin Flex Finish Hairspray from Chi. I brought my curling iron, so I curled my hair when I was in LA. This I love. If you need a new hairspray, try it out it's very good hold but it's light and 
yeah, I will use this because I need to, when my hair is this blonde, I need to curl it or flat iron it, which sucks because I don't want to impart any more damage than is already done. I'm kind of getting annoyed with having damaged hair, um, but it just looks blah if I don't. So I'm trying to do my hair more, you know. So I also got this, something I forgot, is a dry shampoo. It's the Orlando Pita Marula Oil Nourishing Dry Shampoo. I'm always intrigued, well first of all I use dry shampoo all the time, and I'm always intrigued by a dry shampoo that nourishes or hydrates. Um, I got some Shine Finishing Spray and I love that. So I use that in conjunction with a dry shampoo because my hair needs moisture and dry shampoos don't have moisture. So I just do a little of the dry shampoo at the roots and then the shine kind of dry oil spray all over. This seems to be a combination of both. I've only used it once, so we don't know yet. Okay. Nordstrom Rack. These are kind of cool. So I got these at Nordstrom Rack in LA and they are some crop flare jeans by Stella McCartney. Fancy. They are $700 jeans that I got for $117 plus tax. I think it was like $130. These are nice and high rise. They're cropped. They're cute with my white Birkenstocks. I wore them. I like them. I don't love them. I was kind of feeling a little like they made me look a little squatty, but whatevs. As you saw, we went to Double RL. And like these are still in the tissue because I'm slightly regretting this purchase. You guys know how many pairs of jeans I have and the sickness is like continuing. We went to this Fremont, Fremont is a neighborhood in Seattle fair on Sunday and I bought four pairs of Levi's jean shorts, one I'm wearing now, but I needed those again with the shorts and three pair Levi 501s. You guys, after Boise, I'm like, but they're so cheap. So, spending this much on jeans, I don't even want to tell you how much these are, but they're different. They're like a wide leg sailor. These are men's, which is so crazy with how they fit my body. You know, small waist. Yeah. Um, and I do have just the, the denim quality and the patina is amazing with double RL um, but and I do I keep saying I have a, another pair of double RL jeans I bought six years ago and I wear them constantly and they're one of my favorite pairs of jeans so it might be worth it but I might return them I'll show you <sighs> Stupid. Stupid. Okay. We will go to Nordstrom. I'm vibing on this athletic kind of high heel track pant jewelry sort of vibe. I've always wanted to wear the Adidas Originals track pants with high heels and I never can figure out what on top. So I bought, so I've been, oh, I'm like, I'm just going to buy some Adidas and try to make it work. I bought these sweats at Nordstrom. They were on sale for 42 bucks. I love them. They're so like smooth and bouncy for a, sw a sweatpant. These are large. No, these are extra large. Um, and I wore them, you know, in the room. I haven't tried these on, but this is sort of what I'm thinking. It's like a dressier material. They're drop crotch, which is cool. And they're the iconic black and white. Some things just become classic, and this is one of them. 
just an iconic piece that I don't have, so I had to get it. Um, went to the Grove and got this at Topshop. I love the cut of it. Not only do I like what it says, I like the cut. It's like a wider, boxier fit with an open bottom and um, wide sleeves. And these I kind of roll up. And it's again, it's like this bouncy material. But I love that. Urban Outfitters. Is that the end after? Oh, there's one package I'm waiting for that I will record at a separate time because it's being shipped to get tax free. Urban Outfitters. I got some candies. You don't need to see those. Just some necessities. Um, they were like five for 25 bucks. So I was like, okay. Feeling the champion. Everyone knows that's, you know, the heritage champion. This is an extra large and I wanted it in a large, but we know that champion, champion shrinks about a size. So I got, I just, I mean, there are 49 bucks. So I picked up two. So I got the charcoal in the crew neck. I kind of want to cut these up that bad should I do that and then I got the gray in the hoodie again extra large I had a champion sweatshirt in high school actually hold on no this is Dustin's the reverse weave I thought this was mine but it they just wear so well um, he gave this to me and it's just like the weave is so tight and kind of stiff and the bottom waistband's thick and it kind of stretches out and gets straight. Yeah, champion. All the rage right now. And then the last thing I got at Urban Outfitters and the last thing I'm going to show you is just like completely ridiculous. Eileen Bornos chic. I love wearing glasses. Sometimes they're fake. This is so serial killer. Um, but yeah, they were 12 bucks, 14 bucks. They might be a little nude for my, like a little pale for me, but I'm wearing no makeup right now. So I thought these were fun. I love everything. Every outfit is sort of a character costume for me. So little touches like that, if they're only 12 bucks or 14 bucks, it's fun for me to wear a couple times, get it out of my system. And I think actually what I need is this, but in gold. I think then it'll sort of, these are filthy. It'll pop off my white, you know, so that was it. That was my LA haul. Again, there's one more thing that I'm going to insert the clip after this. So I will be right back. I'm not going to do my ending yet. So yeah, hope you guys like this part. Thanks. Bye. So the last thing that I got in LA is this. I got it at Amory's, that amazing boutique. I had it shipped here. Um, look, I still have NYX Nude and Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk on my hand from my Get Ready With Me video I just filmed, sneak peek. Um, so yeah, I got this shirt, this is women's, and it is the Comme de Garçon and Vinmont, Comme de Garçon shirt and Vinmont um, collaboration, which is right up my alley. It's a men's Oxford, I have to try it on for you guys. And it has really wide sleeves and a really boxy cut. It's really awesome. This, I think, is going to be a workhorse for me. So I will wear this in an OOTD because you really have to see it on. It's a really unique piece. And you guys know how much I love my men's Oxfords, especially in a blue and white stripe. Um... So yeah, that is the end of my LA haul. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your amazing feedback. I love you guys and see you in the next one.